Alright, so just to go through that one more time for the fun of it, if you need more help, this is for the bones data. Um, and we can see that it's separated out. We've got two different categories we could use, male or female as a category to separate with, or ethnicity, um, with African and Asian and Caucasian. And you, you can see actually here it's already separated by ethnicity, so we wouldn't have to sort it, but um, let's pretend it's not. So your sort in Excel, you can always um, do anything you want with. Again, you want to click on custom sort. Sorry if you can't actually see that whole thing on the video. Um, but it is the option that says custom sort. And, oh yeah. Might tell you not to do that because I'm only trying to sort one cell currently. So if you click in the corner, you can highlight your whole sheet. And then it's sort, custom sort. And again, you've got headers, it's already picked that up. Again, if you didn't have headers clicked, you'll notice that. So here it's recognizing the headers. And say that I want to sort by gender. If I do this, you'll notice that I get all the females at the top, and then all the males down below. Um, but again, how they did this in the exemplar, which would be interesting to do if you wanted to do that as your own write-up. Um, custom sort here. Let's go back and sort by ethnicity instead. Okay, so I've got myself sorted by ethnicity, and I want to put these things on here, and I'm comparing femur and height. So, again, one thing that you can do is just delete everything that you don't need. Again, save your spreadsheet somewhere else, or you won't really have to, because it's online for you from us. Delete it over, and now we can see femur and height right next to each other. You could even delete out the female if I wanted to, or the gender part. But I'm going to start with my first graph of just the African... Um, remains that I have here of people. So highlight that. Again, go to insert, get your scatter graph, and ta-da, we're done. So you can format, put on your titles and axes. I'm not going to bother with that right now, but you definitely need to get those on there. Next thing for us is that we want to put on more data because we've got a few more things to talk about. So I'm going to scroll myself along so I can see all the Asian data that I've got there. Again, right-click somewhere on your graph, and go to Select Data. We've got a bunch of different options. I need you to add in for me. So add, and here we can talk about Asian. And I'm going to click on the little box here that allows me to select my X values. So again, X was for femur, so I'm going to select X, and I'm going to come along and literally drag down and select up all of them. It ends there. Now, if by chance you accidentally click on the wrong spot or you get like multiple things going, just delete yourself out and make sure you've got a clean, fresh start and select in the ones that you want. Otherwise, it can kind of be a pain. Once you've got them in, just press Enter. Go to your Y values. Again, make sure you delete that part. Select in the Y. Hit Enter. And hit OK. And now we can see those there. If you want to, I might actually come back and um, edit the name of this. Just because this was for the African. And you'll see why. Uh, click OK. And I'm going to add one more. And this will be for the Caucasians. So, um, not that I can spell Caucasian. OK, so again, X values. Select them out, and press Enter. Oops, not yet. If you mix up, you can always go back and edit. So I've got my X values, and now I need my Y values. Delete that out. Come in. Select Y. Press Enter. And OK. OK. And if we come up and look, we see all those nice pretty graphs colored in there. And this is where it could be helpful for you, potentially. Um, bear with me one second. Just gonna, so we can see it on the uh, screen better. Oh. Anyways, um, if you format your chart, pick a design that's got some uh, labels on there. You can see here that I've got by selecting that, I can see that I've got my African, Asian, and Caucasian. You can see what their names are, and that was the effect of changing their names. And again, if you want to change any of that, you just right-click again and go into Select Data. 
and you can edit their names there if you need to. Or if you notice that there's points that are wrong, you can go in and edit them there. So it's chucked on linear trend lines for me. Um, not sure why, but anyways, it has done that already. But if you didn't want it to, remember you can always add them yourself. So we'll zoom in here. Um, if I click on a trend line, a format trend line, right click on it, get that information to come up. And here I want to see my R value and my equation, both of them, because this is a linear one, right? So I need to see both. And this is for um, the Caucasian. So again, you might want to drag that someplace where you know that it is for the Caucasian. So for instance, if I've got them in order, um, Caucasian is the last one here. Um, We've got our trend line there already, so we need to just click on the trend line. That's right. Sorry, not on the data. Click on the trend line. Format trend line. Again, get R squared and your equation. That was for Asian. And our last one here, the African. Get both the equation and R on there. Sorry, R squared. I remember you need to take your square root to get your R value. So um, if you've got more than one equation on there, you just need to be really careful that you don't screw them up. Um, keep in mind you should actually be able to type in here also. So I could come in here and just say that this is African so I don't screw it up. So each time you put one on there, go in and actually add in the appropriate name so you don't mess it up. And same here, Caucasian. and then you make sure you don't get them mixed up as you're going around using them. So, that's just another example. Um, and again, from there, if you knew that you had the remains of an African, for instance, you might want to use the African trend line to predict. Or if you're trying to identify and you knew that there was a missing person who was Caucasian, um, you could use the Caucasian line to see if it fits better for Caucasian or for, you know, for instance, African, um, and taking a look at that. A couple of the things that you might want to notice here is that if you were making a prediction for an Asian um, and it had actually a rather long femur relative to the others, so it was a point somewhere up here, you know, that would be a weakness for me that um, most of the Asian femur lengths and heights that I have are, you know, much shorter than if I was predicting for somebody up in this range over here. So thinking about that as a weakness in the data set, I don't have a very good range of Asian values. Um, and Caucasian is a little bit better, and African I don't have very good low ones, so just something to be aware of about the weaknesses for each of those data sets.